All right, so today was day three of the EP closed squash tournament. I think it went a lot better than yesterday. A couple of things changed, I think. There are a lot of people which are very attentive in the videos, which I actually, or to the videos, which I'm actually quite happy about and fascinated by the things that you guys notice. So I'm sure before anyone mentions or asks the questions, yes, I did change strings. I am fortunate enough that my, my fiance was able to go restream my records for me today while I was working and I changed to the Ashway Supernic XLs, the 1.25 millimeter gauge and I strung it at 28 pounds. So that was what was on my green Technifiber strings um, on the Carver, Carverflex Heritage racket. In terms of tension, um, the only difference was the string, so I did a bit of research, went on the Reddit community. I think that's also a bit of advice for squash players, go on the Reddit community, get your questions answered and find a lot of information. And due to that, I decided to take a chance and go for the uh, Super Nix. And yeah, so felt really good, felt very comfortable with it compared to what I had with the Dynamax strings, which I played with yesterday as well as Monday. And I really wish I changed them beforehand, and that was the plan on Monday, but um, we had a public holiday. So, yeah, today's tournament, um, I still lost. Um, <laughs> I think I've just been posting L's on this channel, but it's still part of the journey and growth. But, yeah, uh, I played Murray Skippers. Murray Skippers is a very good player. In fact, he plays for NMU, he's a university player. Here, he also used to play at the University of Pretoria, and he's a former South Africa top 10 squash player because he's been at the world junior tournament so really good player really friendly guy actually he sort of gave me advice we've practiced i think it was a week or two before he sort of gave me advice and tips and um, i took his advice and tips in the first game but i just didn't have the endurance to sort of push and use those tips in the you know second third and fourth game so ended up losing 3-1 but it felt a lot better i felt a lot more confident hitting shots and yeah i, I said as the endurance picks up, as I get a bit fitter, things will, I guess, take shape. But I'm starting to realize what I like, what I don't like with respect to uh, my racket, my strings, my grips. And as I said, try to go back to basics a little bit. And it's very easy when you do, to do that when you're concentrating and you've got the energy. But as you know, you fade into the matches and you become a lot more tired, concentration levels drop a little bit. And that goes out of the window and all your bad habits come through. So it'll take time for me to make sure that my bad habits or my good habits become my bad habits, I guess. Or I'm not left with any bad habits and I just need to get a bit fitter. But really enjoyed the game. Spoke to Murray afterwards. Um, just basically asked questions to say, well, what did I do right in the first game? And he mentioned, you know, my movement was really good and I was pushing forward. I was really attacking off, you know, or maybe controlling the T and really attacking and going for the volleys. And he felt that he needed to obviously change the script a little bit. And I think I was five love up in the second game and he said that I just took my foot off the gas for a little bit and I think it was one point where he came back and I think I was pushing so hard and really trying to, you know, enforce myself on the tee that I started to fatigue a little bit and that's where I sort of put my foot off the gas and enabled him to come back in. So, you know, just relieving that bit of pressure gave him the opportunity to come back and he felt a lot more confident and going for his shots and putting me to the back and all of a sudden was a role reversal. I think that just goes back to fitness at the end of the day and endurance. Um, we saw a very good game where Jason Larue was playing and, you know, as I don't want to say he's old, he's obviously older than me, but, you know, he's an Ironman athlete. He is a super fit player and you can just see what a difference that makes being in, you know, the third game or deep into the mid game and he's still able to lunge and fetch balls right up in the front deep at the back and you know return it with interest and really have that endurance to push through and you know make a person guess and doubt when they go for a shot and then what happens is that we go for you know the spectacular or we really try to make sure it's a perfect shot and we make mistakes so that's just something we witnessed you know while we were leaving he was still playing a game and we realized, yeah, that's the ability that fitness gives you, you know, the ability to put pressure on your opponent psychologically, as well as, you know, just get to every single ball and return with interest. And with me not being as fit, you could see I was fading at the end. So something to work on, something to note. And as I said, this is sort of a journal that I'm keeping for myself, but also for anyone that's of interest or anyone that's interested who's going through a similar journey as me. That's the note for today, you know, really taking home the fact that after this week, I think a lot of time has been invested into off-court work, 
or not really off court work, but you know, less racket work and more fitness work. But there's a lot of good content out there, a lot of good YouTube channels out, out, out there which help with that, and a lot of good books and stuff. And you know, I will recommend what I've used and what I see and what I find for people which are in a similar position to me. But yeah, that's that for today. Obviously, not happy that I lost, but still happy that it went better than yesterday. And that's that for tonight. Take care. Cheers.